Hey people, welcome to another gorgeous day in Canada. Today I wanted to show you the interior of a 1999 NB Miata. Um, I don't know if this car received this interior as an upgrade, but it does. This car comes with a lot of uh, options like a torsion differential and upgraded uh, rims. So leave it in the comments if you see anything upgraded. Uh, right off the back, uh, beige leather. And um, I don't know, it's very good quality leather. Um, there is no rips or tears. Be this vehicle being a 1999 and with the mileage t it has, 184,000 kilometers. And uh, very good quality product. Well, not as good as a Lexus, but again, you know what I mean. Uh, the speakers and the tweeter um, are from Bose. Even the audio deck is by Bose. So uh, I'm gonna start from the center column. Now, um, right over here, you have the, the window controls. You, got only, you only got two windows, so you need two switches. And you would be wondering, hey, where is the lever for my gas cap release or the trunk? And you would look all over like I did. Now, they are hidden here. What are the chances? And the other thing is, uh, because it's a convertible, um, you have the option to, to lock this. So basically you put the key in, lock it, so that people can get in here or and unlock it. Now, uh, it is a five speed standard. It's not the six speed, so uh, one, two, three, four, five, and then reverse. Um, this almost feels like a short shift, but it's not. Again, one, two, three, four, five. The other thing I like about this vehicle is, uh, I'm gonna close the door because I wanna hold the key. And don't wanna hear the beep. Um, this is your hand position. You leave your hand like this, and I think the feel of this gear lever is amazing. I am a uh, standard guy. I, I love vehicles with standard shift and can't go wrong with this. Um, one of my observances, uh, every time I'm trying to go from, let's say, fourth to fifth, instead of going all the way, you may miss fifth and get into third. A very big chance you're gonna get into third. But this engine is a high revving engine. Again, I don't want people to get into third. Uh, it's it's a little hard to get into fifth. That's what I'm trying to go. Uh, and then you have the basic, uh, uh, what is this lock for? I don't even know. No idea. Oh, hold on. You can turn off the passenger airbag. Yeah, interesting. And then uh, at the glove com compartment, it's small. You can lock it so that people can get in. And then you have the HVAC controls, cold, hot. Uh, and the direction you want the air to come in. And this is the button for the rear window defog. And the button for the fans control, AC. And everything else is the audio deck. You remember these? Do you? Do you? If you don't remember this, you are a kid. Okay, literally, you are a kid. Anyways, there's the tape deck. I don't want to go through this. That's the the CD player and the radio. Uh, pretty basic stuff. Now going back to the steering. You have the fuel gauge. Uh, the fuel gauge is always live. Right now, that's how much oil I have left. The tachometer, this is the oil pressure gauge, uh, speedo, and the temperature gauge. Now, right on the right-hand side of the steering, uh, well, you have the 
the windshield wiper controls and on the left hand side like any other vehicle you got the lights you got the turn signal and the lights so focus so lights on and on and on this this end it's just you go sorry go like this now um, the other thing on the right hand side is uh, the control uh, the, the the control for the mirrors uh, you have to select the mirrors by left or right and then you can control them uh, the way you want them to be um, and, the, and on the left hand side it is you know what I don't know what this button do I still have to figure it out I have no idea what this does is uh, it dims or increases the uh, backlit and this is the cruise control button. You press it. Now, uh, in the steering wheel, there's no other button. So you're like, how the hell? I said the cruise control. This is how you do it. You go to the, the column, which is for the windshield wiper. Don't do like that. What you do is you turn this down. You down to set and up to cancel. That's uh, pretty much it. And for the heat vents, uh, you get two over there, and one on this side. This is to defog this, one on that, and at the bottom. That is pretty much it. Um, it is a bigger vehicle. F I'm sorry, I am bigger than this vehicle. It's hard for somebody my size. I am 5'10", 210 pounds. Uh, it's tight. So if you're longer and heavier, forget it. It's not for you. All right, well, uh, if you have any questions, leave it in the comment section. I'll try to get back to you as soon as I can. And uh, if you like my videos, like. If you don't like my videos, click on like. And please subscribe for more awesome videos.